All right, welcome back to YouTube. Thanks for checking in. Today we are discussing the Justice League trailer, which premiered at San Diego Comic Con over the weekend. And wow, I got to tell you, I was blown away. It looks so cool just to see Bruce Wayne talking to Aquaman and Barry Allen and Wonder Woman, and we saw Cyborg and. Wow, it all looks so good, except for the Flash suit. I'm uh, not a big fan of the Flash suit, but that's minor, okay? I can live with it. Um, I'm such a fan of the Flash TV show. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to accept someone other than, uh, you know, Grant Gustin as Barry, but it totally worked. Uh, that sequence was fantastic. The interplay uh, between uh, Bruce and Barry uh, when uh, Ben Affleck throws the batter egg and, uh, you know... Barry's watching, you can see him realize, holy crap, that's Batman. Just priceless. Super cool and funny. Uh, just a funny sequence. And there was a lot of funny stuff in the trailer. I mean, there's definitely more laughs in that trailer, I think, than there were in Batman vs. Superman or Man of Steel. Uh, you know, <laughs> I hear you can talk to fish. That's awesome. So, yeah, super cool. Uh, can't wait to see it. Um, you know, we don't really get too much plot wise. We just know Batman's putting together a team. That's all I need to know. And I'm hoping that uh, it's going to be as good as this trailer because they really got me excited for it. Uh, after seeing um, Wonder Woman trailer and this one, man, really looking forward for uh, the next couple of DC movies. Suicide Squad, eh, we'll talk about that on another video. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it, but I don't know. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> Justice League, we got a year and a half to come, so we are going to see a lot of uh, other trailers, a lot of other footage, certainly going to be coming out. Uh, my one thought that I had was they really seem to have lightened the tone here uh, compared to the last couple of flicks, and I'm wondering if the people who really loved Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman and who were looking forward to a three-hour director's cut that was R-rated and, you know, Batman was killing lots more people. Um, I wonder how those people are going to feel um, if they lighten it up too much. It's going to be interesting to see uh, the kind of tone that they strike uh, because they're going to have to try to please the people who were kind of meh on the last couple of flicks and also keep the people who loved them happy. So going to be interesting to see and like I say that was a great little surprise we got a year and a half to wait so I'm sure we will learn lots more and there will be lots of spoilers I will be trying to avoid desperately uh, over the next year and a half so if you haven't watched it yet definitely go check it out and uh, if you feel like commenting let me know what you thought I'd like to hear it because I hope you all dug it as much as I did and thanks again for checking in at ShoeTube if you like what you heard well you know what to do and we'll talk to you soon